All right, YouTube, so this is a quick follow-up video to last night's um, first video of this bike. This is 03 Yamaha YZ 250F. It is a four-stroke. Um, I just wanted to show you it now that I got it out of the truck. I got a little bit more lighting on it. I'm over at the shop. I got a little bit of heat. Um, of course, I came over here in some shorts, and it's like 35 degrees out there, so luckily I got heat in the, in the shop. Um, I'll walk around and talk about some things I've noticed and all the stuff that I've got with it. There's a pile of stuff I got with it. Um, this bike's got a new, basically a new top end. It's got new piston rings, uh, stuff been done to the valves. Uh, basically what I can tell is, uh, the previous owner had taken the front brake caliper off, was changing the brakes, um, rear brake calipers off. Let's see missing there. Here's the line to it. Um, up here is missing grips on both sides and it's missing uh it's missing the lever here for the for the clutch um the lines are here for for the clutch and also the line is here for the i guess the hot start is what i saw online it's kind of like a de decompression gauge but i think people call it a hot start and actually some people online seem to be upset if you call it a decompression lever um so anyway, the hot start is there. Um, it's not hooked up right now. Um, looking over here, here's the uh, the rear and front brake caliper. They just put brand new pads on, never been used on both. Brand new pads. Um, the radiators seem to be in good shape, which you might not be able to really tell on the video. Let me turn this light on. I have a little bit. Um, the uh, thing's got a ton of compression. Um, or feels like good compression. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but going by what he said in the, when I bought it, it, it does have new piston um, and stuff, new stuff in the top end. Um, the seat is a little torn here, but it's fine for now. Uh, maybe get a new seat. But uh, overall... Not a bad bike at all. Um, up here, let's, talk, let's, let's look at exactly what all I got with it. Um, I've got this stand here, which is nice. It's got the hole in it for changing oil and stuff. Um, we got this uh, wheel, which is in pretty good shape by my standards. Uh, looking at it, you can see where the actual rim broke right there cracked um but this tire is almost the same size as what goes on my rm 250 this is a 190 over 19 the rm 250 that i've got here is a uh, the tire's not bad it's a little bit worn out a little bit more worn out than the one that i just showed you but this is a 110 i don't know if i can find it there we go there's a 11090 over 19. So I don't know how much of a difference that 10, the 100 compared to the 110 there on the first number, um, I guess is the width. I don't know how much difference that's, that would make. But um, I just talked about getting a new tire for the RM, so that's pretty cool that I got that with the deal last night. Got a new front and rear inner tube. Got these uh, air filters, and he didn't know if the yellow one actually went to this bike or not, but he gave it to me anyway. Um, Oil filter replacement, fork oil, and brake fluid. Um, got a, I guess that wrench is for the spokes and the other tool. Um, I got this bag and box of parts. So I think what's going to end up happening because a lot of the, uh, I'm, I'm missing a lot of bolts for like the calipers, um, the banjo bolts for the brake lines. Um, that seems to be like the main thing I'm missing. I, and I did realize also I'm missing the, uh, the case saver that goes here. Um, so the case saver, I'm gonna have to find the bolts for that as well. Um, and the case saver, but I've got this bag and this box. And I think, I don't know if, if it's going to be true or not, but, uh, there might be some of the bolts in here that I need for the calipers. And then this box, a 
bag. This bag's got all kinds of uh, new. So this is looks like a new head gasket. Um, might be wrong. It looks like a new head gasket. Maybe if you know, it's got a uh, circle there in the middle. The end's got two half circle tabs with some kind of metal in them, but it's some sort of a gasket. Kind of reminds me of a head gasket. Um, a bunch of like washers. Brand new stuff. A new jet. Um, this piece is broken. It was in there. A new cap for the oil. Um, another jet. Looks like uh, something there. Let's show some more. A bunch of jets. Um, and then you got this cover here. So I got a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, also I didn't mention the, in this video, the tires are cracked. The actual knobby little nubs are off of it, but you can see there's still the spots where the nubs were. So these tires were uh, practically brand new, he said. Front one looks like it. Back one, he said the same thing. It's clean, it's got more, it's got trade on it, but not as, not as new as the front tire, I don't think, or at least it is worn a little bit more, but it's still a good tire. But, all right, so here's a question. Last night I asked you what you thought I paid for it. Um, all this stuff. Like I said, it's an 03 Yamaha YZ 250F. Um, well, the answer is uh, he was asking $500 for the whole thing. He said best offer, and he said he could deliver it. Um, I was at his house in about an hour, and uh, maybe he would have gone lower, but I asked him if he'd take 400 he said, uh, how about 450 So I got it for 450 So, well, my other video, I'm going to link this video to my video from last night, because in the video last night at the end, I asked what you thought I paid for it. And overnight, it was a bunch of answers. Um, a lot of, some people said, I think the closest was 500 Nobody went less than 500 but it was a lot of like 800s or 1100s, uh, 900, 700, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, 450 for this bike. Um, not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it yet. We're going to try to get it running first and uh, probably ride it some and see if I like this better than the RM. Um, if you watch my other videos where we ride, we ride in some tight trails. Um, so maybe, I, you, know, the, you know, the RM is wants to go wide open all the time and it's running, it runs better the faster you're going, it seems like. Um, so this being a four stroke and a smaller bike, um, there's tight trails, this might just be just perfect, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching Big Germs Garage. Have a great weekend um, and check back. Uh, what I'm probably going to do now is kind of go, start going through all this stuff and seeing what I need to order. I'm pretty sure I need to order the nut for this back wheel here, um, case saver and some other stuff. But uh, I'm going to put together a list. I'll probably see if I can get this thing to run today or at least start up and uh, ease my mind a little bit about the motor. But um, all right, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching Big Drums Garage.